Hello, welcome to Daisy's Academy Online class with Shaibu John. Today we'll be looking at subtraction of decimals. Subtraction of decimals is similar to subtraction of whole numbers. The difference is putting the decimal point in the appropriate position or place. Now let's get started. For example, one. Example one. Solve 15 minus 12.325. Solution. Write down your Write down according to their place value based on what we did in our last lesson. So you're going to have 15 minus 12.325. If you look at 15, there's no number after 15 again. So you can just put your decimal point and put 0000. The reason is because 15.000 is still the same thing as 15. And we are putting this 00 because we have other figures after decimal point for 12. Okay, and we have three different figures after decimal point for 12. You need to put three zeros here too to have a balance. Now, if this is a whole number, all you need to do is to borrow and then subtract. So we're going to use that same step in doing this, but you put your decimal point where necessary. So now, 0 minus 5 is not possible. You come to this 0 to borrow, that is not possible. You come to this 0 again to borrow, it's not possible, right? You cross your decimal point and borrow from here. So you borrow from 5. When you borrow from 5, 5 becomes 4. And this 0 on top of it will now become 10. Isn't it? Now, you can't borrow. Okay. You need to borrow again 1 from 10. When you borrow 1 from 10, you have 9. See 9 here. Now, when you borrow, so here will now become 10. So you need to borrow, further borrow again to this place. When you borrow 1 to this place, this will become 10 and here will now become 9. So here, this becomes 10 minus 5. So 10 minus 5 is 5. Remember, we borrowed to this one to make it 10 and we still borrowed from it and it, and it became 9. So we are having 9 minus 2. 9 minus 2 is 7. Here we are having, we borrowed to this place earlier on and it was 10. And we later borrowed from it again and it became 9. So we are having 9 minus 3. 9 minus 3 is 6. There is a decimal point here. Put your decimal point after 6 here to decimal point. Remember Remember, we borrowed from 5, so it is now 4. So 4 minus 2 is 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. So the 0, you can write it or you leave it. So your answer is now 2.6275. Let's look at example 2. Subtract 94.38 from 100.29. Solution. Write your 100.29. First, put your sign of subtraction. Then write 94.38 according to the place value. So 9 will come under the first 0. 4 will come under the second 0. Then put your decimal point and write your three under two eight under nine now this is very simple after writing according to their place value nine minus eight is one write it down here two minus three two is less than three so you need to borrow you cross your decimal point to zero there's nothing in zero so you go to this other zero again there's nothing in this zero so you go to one and borrow when you borrow from one one becomes zero so put that zero on it then this zero now become ten okay now you need to further borrow from ten when you borrow one unit from 10 units, it becomes 9 units. So this 10 will now become 9. So this 0 will now become 10. Now you still need to further borrow 1 unit from 10 units. So this uh, 0 unit, uh, this 10 units will now become 9 units. And here will now become, instead of 12, you're now going to have 1 and 2. Instead of ordinary, only 2, you're going to have 1 and 2. So 12 minus 3 is 9. Before you cross this 12, remember there's a decimal point. So you put your decimal point and move on. Now, this is no longer 0 or 10 again. The 9 on top that is what you are going to use just like what we did in the first place so 9 minus 4 is 5 now here is 9 minus 9 9 minus 9 is 0 and 0 is nothing and after that we also have 0 again 0 is nothing so you have 5.91 as your answer all right do this class one and have a wonderful day